Burke. Um, I'm the director of finance at Yummy Ice Cream, and I lived in Coppell for 33 years, 34 years. Uh, probably my energy level was fairly low. It was hard to get up in the morning, and I was. Uh, I always thought I needed to be exercising, but I just kind of got to where I didn't even want to go out and walk. And um, so, and I was spending a lot of time watching TV and probably not eating very healthy. I mean, I cer certainly wasn't focused on fruits and veggies. <laughs> and so, and then, you know, my downfall at the time was Dr. Pepper. So, I probably didn't drink as much as some people, but I drank enough to make me gain weight. So, anyway, so that's where I was. Yeah. Well, I saw, you know, I always saw y'all on Facebook because a lot of my Facebook friends like you. So. Um, I noticed that you said something about virtual and online and I go I can do that because before I always thought there's no way that I can make any of those meeting times and so I thought I'll sign up for the virtual so I did and I something just clicked and I just started doing it and I did the virtual every day and uh, I tried to get a little more cardio in and uh, one of the big things first of all I dropped Dr. Pepper I just went cold turkey and then um, I followed the six-week meal plan, which got me into the habit of eating fruits and vegetables and kind of observing, you know, what I'm eating all the time. And so that was a very big springboard. And then um, I went to a couple of the socials and you kept saying, you really need to come to one of the in-person things. And so finally, one Friday, I go at four in the morning to St. Anne to the Eucharistic Chapel and pray and I thought, I might as well go to the 5.30 session because I'm up anyway. And after I went, I was sold. It was like there was no stopping me then. So it was pretty comical at first. And anything related to balance, I was just, you know, plain goofy. And uh, I, I like the burpees, I, I was like, what? what? <laughs> so it, it took me a while to get used to it. And then I got used to it. And there were, you know, a few exercises like, oh, that's familiar. I can do that. And, and all that so and then we, I think we had some discussions about how a good way to do push-ups you know I got the little bars that helped me a little bit better and uh, and just it, it just became more familiar to me I like being able to uh, tailor it to my fitness level it's the community is just so important and I was like yeah you know I've been around communities before you know I've got you know I've got friends but this is, this was different, and I didn't feel like I was competing with anybody, and no one was judging me, and that was, you know, it's like if you go to a fitness center, you've got all these people, you know, trying to be buff, but, you know, that's what kind of kept me from doing that, and, you know, periodically through the years, I would walk, and um, it, that was good. There was nothing wrong with it, but it didn't exercise, you know, it didn't give me strength. And so uh, that's what I think is unique. And the other thing that's unique is every time you go, it's a little bit different. So you're not doing the cons consistently the same thing. I'm just stronger. I feel better. I'm in a better mood. Uh, I have a little bit better mental clarity, uh, which is good. I've, I've lost about 18 or 20 pounds. And I was just thinking the other day, the last time I was this weight, I wasn't in shape. Um, and, you know, now my stomach's a lot flat. My stomach's probably flatter than it's been in several, you know, 20 or 30 years. Uh, just because I'm working on the core. And that, you know, that really makes a big difference for me. And that's what I want it to do. One of the things that I want it to focus on, uh, just to, you know, get a little bit stronger in that.